Hi, my name is Mike Catelfamo. I'm the technical sales engineer here at eBridge Connections. Today, I'd like to demonstrate our integration with Big Commerce, a leading e-commerce marketplace. I'm going to do that by placing an order on a Big Commerce store and have it flow into ePortal, the eBridge Universal Integration Engine. Let's head over to the Big Commerce store. I'm going to purchase this product and I'm going to complete the checkout. I've set up this item to allow for checkout without using a credit card. So I'm going to log out as a user and log in as the site administrator and mark the order as paid. You can see the order ID here is 101 and it has today's date of June 8th, 2012 and I have marked the order as completed. Once the order is marked as completed, the eBridge ePortal platform will recognize that the order is ready to be processed and will be picked up and made available to your back office system which is typically an accounting or ERP system. Let's head over to ePortal and watch for the order. And here we see the order from Big Commerce with today's date, June. 8th 2012 order number 101 and when we click on the order number in ePortal we see a formatted representation of the order data. So as we scroll through we can see some of the details that are made available when the order comes down and since we use the BigCommerce API we get all of the fields that they make available to us as part of that data feed. Of course, we also have access to the original data that we pull from BigCommerce in the raw format, uh, the XML format that represents the, the API da um, formatted data. And if we scroll through that, we see the same information, but we see all of the data in a uh, less structured way, but in this case, uh, slightly easier to read. That's it. This order is now made available to the integration side of the equation, which is the accounting or ERP system that you have installed on your side. And if this was a production environment, the automation of the order importing into the accounting or ERP system would be the next step in the process. I actually allowed the order to post into Sage ACPAC and you can see the results here. Our goal is to reproduce the order in your accounting or ERP system exactly the way you would if you were to manually enter it yourself. You can take note of some of the details such as the PO number 101, which is the original BigCommerce order number, the item description, find your way app, the quantity ordered being one, and the unit price as 25 cents. You can also see my name, Mike Catelfamo, as the person who ordered. And if we were implementing this on your side, we would be looking for some feedback to make sure all of the fields were populated exactly the way they should be if you were to have manually entered this yourself. This is just one example of one of the 40 different accounting and ERP systems we already have connectors for. And we can also connect to other types of systems as well. If you would like more information on how the eBridge integration solution can integrate your back office systems with your e-commerce shopping cart, please feel free to reach out to us. You can call us at 1-905-631-8333, reach us on the web at 
ebridgeconnections.com. Email us at sales at ebridgeconnections.com. Follow us on Twitter at ebridgeconnects. Or you can build your integration solution at ebridgeconnections.com slash blueprint.